in favour of New Zealand. And this guy has certainly been maligned, criticised for not selecting the number one team here tonight. And what about the performance of young Jonathan Thomas, just 20 years of age from Neath Swansea, the new uh, regional franchise. And he's made some startling breaks already. Well, he's able to play that ball. Justin Marshall didn't hold him on the ground, otherwise he would have had to release the ball. Got up, kept the ball going. Intelligent play. Third highest point scorer in Welsh history. Straight as a die. Four points the difference. What a match we have on our hands here. There seems to be a special focus on Jerry Collins. Some big hits on him tonight. He put a huge one on Colin Chavis earlier this year, so a bit of payback going on. We just heard that Garen Evans, the Welsh fullback who left the field, is off to hospital for x-rays, but he does have feeling back in uh, the whole of his body, which is great news. Stephen Jones, Muliaina, Jones angling that one towards the touchline. No angle here for the fullback. And no touch either. This is Thomas. Good pass there to Popham. But the Welsh are keeping the ball in hand, and they've done it superbly in the opening quarter. Popham uh, served an apprenticeship with Gary Teichman, who played in Newport Club for three years, and really another young player, promising player of the future. Ali Williams here. Marshall to McCaw and Collins. Well, they've made 35 metres in that foray. And look at the line out on the left. Major. Went backwards. Taken by Dave Hewitt. Ball was out, said the referee. It's sitting there. The Welsh can pick it up. So he came in from the side. Marshall plays on quickly. Rockathai goes outside, but he's not needed. Leon McDonald gets the third try. Confusion there from the referee. But you've got to play the whistle, Wales, and they paid the penalty. It was a difficult one for Justin Marshall. He said that he'd been tackled. The referee said otherwise. So it's New Zealand skipping out to a 19-10 lead. Well, Justin Marshall, a quick tap, and once again, number 11 for Wales, Tom Shanklin caught in two minds. And Leon McDonald crosses over for an easy try. Good thinking, Justin Marshall knows they've got to get some points on the board. Referee rightly said that the Welsh player had come from the side to pick up that ball. That was the only problem. They could pick it up. They had to come from in through the gate. They didn't do it. Well, it's always difficult being a winger in defence. Sometimes you have to pick a player, whether it's the player second, last or last, but you have to make a decision. Goal kickers haven't missed tonight. And they're not about to. 21, three converted tries to 10. So Wales trailing by 11 points, but you just can't take your eyes off these New Zealanders. Well, it could have been a, a, a much closer scoreboard if Gareth Thomas's try had have been scored. He just lost the ball when he had it over the goal line. And the Welsh almost getting a, a second try just before New Zealand got their third. Here's Collins again. They're shifting it a couple of passes wide of the ruck and, and making penetration there. This is Mialamu. Great young hooker forward, Kevin Mialamu. 
Here's McCaw again. Ali Williams. Colin Chavis there. Almost dispossessed him. Collins, he was well hit again. Good tackle by Parker. Muliaina out wide. Trying to get it away to Rocket though, go. McCaw. And Smoke and Joe gets no room this time from Stephen Jones. Great intensity of defence from the Welsh. Marking their men well. Watch Collins. Just Sonny Parker smashed him. Former New Zealand Maori Colt and New Zealand Schools, Sonny Parker. Qualified for, for Wales through residency. Have to serve a three-year residency qualification. Ali Williams steals it. So the Welsh really having to tighten up now. New Zealand just maintaining a breakneck pace. Muliaina makes it look easy. Shane Williams doing his best, number 14. Marshall goes again here for Williams. Lost there by Somerville. Pass was hard and flat. Very unsympathetic. Wales looking to take some territory out from New Zealand here. And they've done it beautifully. The yeah, Ali Williams has got to provide a much softer pass to his front rowers in this one. Way too high, and a back might have got it, but not to be. And good reaction there from Robin McBride. Well, just a few handling errors, but look at the time spent in the opposition's territory. Wales really strong. It's Brad Thorne at the back, cleared by Hewitt. More width here from New Zealand. Major inside ball there for McCaw. Support play outstanding from New Zealand. Well, the All Blacks prepared to ask the question inside their 22. His Major again, lost ahead there. This is Williams. The referee said there was no knock on. And Jones, the tight head prop. Acting scrum half. Stood his ground. Stephen Jones, he loves this little kick and chase. Jones, he loves this little kick and chase. Lost it backwards, Marshall there to save the day. Who's chasing Howlett, look out! One of the quickest men on the field. Taylor in the last line. This is Cooper. Shanklin. And happy to shank it into touch. Well, well handled there, Mark Taylor, number 13 for the Welsh side. Very experienced player. Got himself in front of Howlett. Howlett just couldn't get the toe to the ball. Howlett was onside behind Justin Marshall. And look at the pace. Look at him go. All he had to do was get one good kick on the ball. And there you see Taylor sliding and getting himself in front of the ball. Well, Gareth Thomas had come forward for the little chip kick. He knew what was on and it left a huge hole in behind. So the score here at Telstra Stadium in a hectic first half, it's New Zealand by 21 to 10. So Mark Taylor leaving the field, a little push in the back there, which is not strictly legal on Hallett, but we can turn a blind eye to that one. Did a grand job. So Taylor's going to have some Attention there in the blood bin. And Kerry Sweeney on number 21 for the Welsh. And the All Blacks yet again go for a short line out to use their big loose forwards outside of Carlos Spencer. It's been a great result for them. Quick ball from the top using these two men just wide of fly half. Here's Collins again and he's gone straight over the line of touch. So already they're in behind the defensive. Alignment of Wales. Mialamu, the effervescent hooker. Aaron Major, lovely pass there to Muliaina. Spencer went without it, and McBride was hungry on the ground. Andre's got some something to say here to Ali Williams. Don't go after him, all right? Don't go after him. 
We'll be watching. That's all I'm saying. We'll be watching. Just calm down. It's been a great game. Now, what that's all about. Brent, on, Brent, Brent Cobain pulled Ali back. Williams down after he'd fed the ball back from the line out. He didn't like it. Be unlike a Cobain to. Uh, Back of the lineup. Yeah. Has been pulled in than okay, I'll come to the TJs as well. Thanks very much. Thanks for that advice. That's lovely. Tit for tat. Andre doing a good game tonight. He's giving it a lot of room. Both both teams are playing it in a great spirit. They're uh, playing good running rugby. And uh, he's encouraging them to do so. But if you decide to go to foul play with Andre Watson, you will be punished unmercifully. Well, important that uh, Wales keeps their line intact here. Another score uh, would be a real backbreaker. Muliaina with some sloppy hands. The counter's on now. Thomas was out there. And Jones comes in. Scrum half Cooper to Sadoli. Jerry Collins was over the top. And Wales still keeping the ball in hand. That's Brent Cobain. A real uh, sandwich situation there for him. Shane Williams, the little scrum half. And he's bumped into one of his men in front. Technical ruling there by the referee. Unfortunate. It was technical. And... Uh... The Welsh willing to throw the ball wide. This time Brent Cobain hit by guess who? Ali Williams. <laughs> Good battle on this side. Number three for All Blacks. Greg Somerville. Jerry Collins then to Marshall. Just happy to peg it in behind and now attack Wales's line out. Well, the All Blacks are mixing their game up and a bit of respect being shown to this Welsh defence. They've been really very confident tonight for most of the, most of the night. Sadoli's there. Aggressive jump from him, the big number five. Telling one of their teammates to, to get up. I think they might have turned this over. That's unfortunate. Now New Zealand to punish. Mulyain is coming in out wide. Collins wants to go himself. Good run, Jerry Collins. Quick hands, paddled on. Rokotoko. Cross kick. Here it is for Ali Williams, the big fellow. Can he play Aussie rules? New Zealand rules. Fourth try and a bonus point for the All Blacks. Wonderful vision by Carlos Spencer. He got the call. Ali Williams, it isn't often you see a big lock forward out wide. Soon as Spencer realised who it was, he went to the air and dropped it right on the goal line. And he knew that Williams would be supreme in the air. In the air. So it was. Well, Carlos Spencer... It signalled the play before that he was going to go across and Ali Williams went as wide as he could to allow Spencer to kick right across the, the width of the field and Ali Williams, eyes on the ball, a great try for him tonight, his first test try and isn't he happy? Well Carlos Spencer had four tight forwards out there from the All Blacks but just shows you the, the skill on this side, he's willing to back his big man Ali Williams, his fellow Auckland Blue. This to make it four straight converted tries for Leon McDonald. 28 plays 10. Ali Williams, what an athlete. He's represented Auckland at soccer, tennis and cricket at age level. He's also an accomplished basketballer. And he was a late starter in rugby, but he could turn his hand to any sport. So Wales really having to knuckle down now. They haven't made any ground when they've had the ball and they've basically got to get it off New Zealand and hold on to it. Because the All Blacks are playing it at frantic pace when they have it. Here's Collins. 
doing all the damage in midfield. Marshall, Thorne, weak defence there from Jones. Marshall keeps the momentum going. 